Hello friends, good evening, or good morning, good afternoon, whatever the time zone you are in. Welcome back to EduSkills. This is at another YouTube live. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OET. Today we look into reading strategies and tips. And OET made easy is our tagline and we believe OET can be learned enjoying the whole learning process. And today we will be looking into various aspects and majority of today's viewers, we believe is focused on beginners. However, it will be useful for everybody. This is not only OET, even for IELTS or TOEFL, other exams, this being an orientation session goes well and can be used for any of these competitive exams. Most of the strategies, almost all the strategies for IELTS and OET is almost same. And when you have to do reading and listening, though there is slight difference in the question pattern, the strategies and tips are same. So if there are IELTS aspirants who are attending this session, you are also most welcome. And let's look into the various tips, how easily you can locate answers. This session is based on our experience as well as various concerns, doubts raised by various aspirants yesterday and today, especially today, during the mentors hour from 12 o'clock in the main platform. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. And we'll be looking into various aspects where we can think of listening to or reading into various aspects in both reading and listening subtest of OET as well as the listening and reading module of IELTS. Let me share my screen so that looking at the screen you can understand better the strategies hope you can see my screen just give me your feedback in the comment space you can see my screen if you am audible just text me in the comment space you can also text your the concerns in the comments so that I can look into it. And we are waiting a couple of seconds so that others also enter. And if you have any concerns, specific concerns, you are most welcome to uh, post in the comment space. And we are going on live now because in the previous, uh, when we were preparing the aspirants, OIT aspirants for the previous batch, uh, in spite of five repeated sessions, I could not get to all the I could not admit all the aspirants who wanted to join the sessions in the Zoom classroom. So we thought of reaching you via YouTube Live. As so of now, just text me also, where are you from and your location so that we have some idea where you are attending from. Yes. Hello, friends. You are a health professional, Sorry. Yeah. It's, it's occupational English test 2.0 OET skills. And we are going to look into various aspects like how GIST will help us or how to read the text for GIST and how this GIST will help us and identify the opinion by hedging words and the common questions were like how to identify different types of questions like opinion questions how to understand which is the gist type of question or how to understand what is uh, contrast word based questions and also read for emotions or subject agreement look for opinions in the main clause look for model verbs and focus on the structure of the paragraph like every paragraph has got its structure for example we have a paragraph here you know this tells you we are not going to in through the details this speaks about octopus so they have got such a weird shape is the topic sentence we call it the topic sentence of the paragraph there are two paragraphs first paragraph speaks about shape so weird shape is the controlling idea so whenever you read a text you should focus on the topic sentence that tells you what is the focus or what is the gist of the paragraph entire paragraph and definitely as you scan the hedging words in the question, as well as as you come back to the text, 
you will understand what is the focus of the text. And they have got such a weird shape. This is a conversational uh, text uh, taken from the materials from Cambridge University. I thank them for allowing me to use this for teaching purpose. And they have got, we don't use these uh, contractions in the official language. However, this is a colloquial um, language being used here. However, just to tell you, even the listening, you will be having uh, the conversational communication style in listening subtext. Even there, you can listen for the topic sentence. And weird shape is the controlling idea. We shape is the keyword, and weird shape is the controlling idea. And this first paragraph spe will speak only about the weird shape. The shape. Why I have made this statement that octopus have got such a weird shape. So now eight arms and head in the middle of their body, super lips, donor shaped brain, three hearts, all these things, uh, blue blood and jet propulsion, bag on the back, all this contributes to its weird shape. So every paragraph has got a topic sentence and every audio or uh, listening subtext, every paragraph you have a structure. If you take the script, you will understand there are paragraphs even in your audio. So focus on the shift of the topic sentences and the controlling idea that is here weird shape. So and then you know what is contained in the whole paragraph or what is being uh, you have to listen for in the coming segment or in the present uh, go ongoing segment. And coming to the second paragraph you have, they summarize so octopuses have weird forms, the summary of the first paragraph, and they have lots of really unusual behaviors. So octopuses have lots of really unusual behaviors is the topic sentence for the second paragraph. Unusual behaviors is the controlling idea. Behavior is the keyword. So the whole paragraph will speak, repeatedly explain, what is the behavior or why it is unusual? So unusual behavior will be illustrated by high speeds ca and camouflaging, fast and clever at squeezing through the holes, really good at hiding from animals. All these are its behaviors. So what I mean to say, there are various aspects that we have to look into. And as we go into this one, you will understand. Now, uh, definitely you know about synonyms. Maybe if you are a senior here, you have been in the platform, you know this is very familiar to you. But just for the sake of benefit of the beginners, I'm just giving you an idea. The, uh, like uh, the synonyms, the Saddam Hussein was dashed by US government. The to kill is the word to be used, but then you have to use different synonyms of the word kill. The soldier was dashed in action. He was dashed by his neighbor. Indira Gandhi was dashed by the terrorists. The sheep was dashed by the man. If you have a pen and paper, try to fill in these gaps just to write the words. He did not write the whole sentence, but just try to fill in this gap. Saddam Hussein was dashed by US government. The soldier was dashed in action. He was dashed by his neighbor. Indira Gandhi was dashed by the terrorists. The sheep was dashed by the man. So let's look at the answers. Saddam Hussein was executed by US government. When somebody is uh, killed after a process of law, after the court trial, they, they are really executed. They are not killed. The word is the synonym is to be used is executed. The soldier was killed in action because soldiers have the permission to kill. So soldier was killed in action. He was murdered by his neighbor. We have no... Uh, permission or legal authority to kill anyone. So unauthorized killing, illegal killing is termed as murder. So that is another synonym of to kill. Indira Gandhi was assassinated by the terrorists. And that also speaks about to the word kill. The sheep was slaughtered by the man. So even the slaughtered is a synonym of kill. So what happens here is like when you speak of uh, synonyms, here, the question statement may say the vocabulary range of the student. Student is assessed in the OET reading subtest. The reading passage will say the lexical resource of the OET candidate is assessed in the reading subtest. So vocabulary range is the synonymous expression of lexical resource. Student is a synonym of candidate. And this particular, the vocabulary range of the student is assessed in the OET reading subtest is paraphrased as the lexical resource of the OET candidate is assessed in the reading subtest. So synonym, 
synonymous language and paraphrasing is the most essential competency that you require both for IELTS or OET as well as even for TOEFL and other competitive exams. These are the major things. Many foreign students do the OET test in their home countries. And that should be the, that is a question statement. But the passage, reading passage says most overseas students sit in the OET in the test in their country of origin. So foreign students, overseas students do synonymous sit. Home country, countries, country of origin. Home country, the synonymous expression is country of origin. So we can think, uh, come across various synonymous expressions like if your question says reoccurrence, uh, text may say coming back. Life saving, saving uh, chances of curing. Cornerstone of care, basis of treatment. Experience having spent their careers. Soothing, uh, maybe preserving quality of life. These are the synonyms by expressions, psychological treatments, psychological therapies. Such expressions can be used. And all the beginners should make sure that you keep a diary for certain things. One thing, a diary for synonyms. Maybe you can use a big book and divide them into different categories. You have to use a diary for synonyms, diary for, you know, you can have the same diary for maybe a same diary you can use for synonymous expressions and paraphrasing. And write down the words that you come across in your reading as well as listening. And write not just the word and synonym, but the context, the whole sentence. So have a diary of uh, vocabulary, the synonyms, synonymous expressions, paraphrasing, and also you can have different diaries to build up your uh, um, the competency. For example, as I go on explaining to you, different strategies I will tell you. The contrast words or the modal verbs or the scale expressions, all these can be a different diary or a different portion of a particular book that you reserve for this purpose and start writing from the very beginning. So uh, for example, a word fat, overweight, 70% of the population is now overweight according to official figures. Overweight doesn't mean obesity. Obesity means extremely fat or overweight. Overweight can be something like you are supposed to be 75 kgs, but you are, uh, now you are 78 kgs. So that can be called overweight. So you cannot use overweight and obesity uh, in certain contexts. If somebody is overweight, you cannot uh, make the judgment statement is obese or obesity. The word cannot be used for that. Obesity is now a real problem for teenagers. So use the sentence, the word and the sentence in the context. And scale, scale, search for clues, you know, scale all, most, majority, many, a few, few. So this may be an idea of rough idea of a example of a scale. All, most, majority, many. So these are the things that we have to concentrate upon. This is to just to give you an idea and I'll give you the example. For example, here, um, you can see most children born will develop hepatitis B if their mother dash. So what is the scale being used here? Most, you know, all means 100%. It's approximately, most means here, 70 to 90%. You see, the, the different percentages of, are uh, uh, highlighted here. 35 to 50% is not most, 70 to 90% is most, 3% is not most, 9% is not most, 7% is not most. So what happens? Majority means something, whatever is 50 plus. 50 plus, everything can be majority. And many means 35 to 50, many. So anything uh, more than one can be many. But here, many means this one. And a few, three, seven, nine, all these shows a few. And few means zero. So what happens here, few means negative. There are few students in the classroom, means there are no students. There is little water in the well, means there is no water. So we should be very careful. And this is one of the strategies where you can, as you have some percentages given in the text, immediately, if certain scale expressions like most is used, you can immediately launch into just glance to only those uh, digits given. <clears throat> and let me remind you, this is not 35 to 50 percentage. It's a wrong usage. It's 35 to 50 percent. P E R C E N T, two separate words. 35 to 50 percent. After digit, never ever use percentage. After digit, you ha we have to use percent, just percent. You can, however, you can say if you are not using a digit, you can say high percentage, low percentage, better percentage, 
good percentage, all these things you can say, but you can never say 90 percentage. You have to say 90 percent. So this is one of the materials or one of the reading passages uh, of OED. So here they have said most children born will develop hepatitis B if their mother dash. So we have to fill this. So here suddenly you can find most means the scale says 70 to 90 among these only 70 to 90 could be most. And you can just locate the answer just near to that. 70 to 90 percent of the children will develop hepatitis B. OK, so here other uh, strategies we are not looking into now. Risk associated with hepatitis B in pregnancy. For example, this says will that I'll come as we get across other examples. We'll come to know this is like other believed here. It says believed to account for believed means it's a probability or opinion, whereas will means categorical factual statement. We'll come back to that. So scale, for example, boil is not hot water. Hot water is not warm water. Warm water is not cold water. Cold water is not ice. So this is something called uh, scale. If the text says hot water, and if the answer option gives warm water, that is not same. That answer is not right. Hot water is not warm water. Boiled water is not hot water. So there is a certain uh, strata scale in the expressions, which is very, very important to be understood. You can find very often in all these uh, te materials, text materials of listening and uh, reading, both. Uh, OED and IELTS. Now, other, another expression could be always, often, most of the time, sometimes, seldom, rarely, never. So, often is not most of the time. Most of the time is not sometimes. Sometimes it's not seldom. Seldom is not rarely. And never. Never is something like, and the certain questions were often asked even in the YouTube comment space, always and never are, uh, we call it absolutes. Always never these two and uh, extreme ends are known as absolutes whenever in your multiple choice questions if there is an absolute normally usually that cannot be the right answer absolutes if the word absolute like always never such expressions are extreme expressions are used those answers will never be the right answers 99 percent prob probability is that those are not the answers to be selected but other Thing like most important, important, most important it is not important. Important is not significant, significant, insignificant, and negligible. These are all scales, different strata, which you have to understand. So also you can show all, most, many, a few, few, all these expressions we have seen. Now, for example, one sec, give me one sec. Yeah. Here. Yeah, scale. Once again, we get back to here. Yeah, if you have any concerns, you can post in the comment box. You say National Health and Medical Research Council guidelines suggests. So what is here? The scale is being used here again. You can see more than two standard drinks, 100 ml of wine to or to 85 ml of beer a day means a standard drink, at least two standard drinks a day, drinking two standard drinks or a day or less. So the scale, how is it used here? Just to give you an example, see this. See, drinking more than the answer options are this. The National Health and Medical Research Council guidelines suggest drinking more than two standard drinks a day, more than two standard drinks. Drinking 100 ml of wine or 285 ml of beer a day, a standard drink. 100 ml of wine or 285 ml of beer a day means a standard drink. Here, more than two standard drinks. Here, a standard drink and drinking at least two standard drinks, at least two standard drinks a day, which means you can even drink more than two, at least they say two standard drinks, drinking two standard drinks a day or less, no more than two standard drinks. So question and text, you can see the scale expressions. Once again, we will confirm it. See how it goes. If you put in order, more than two standard drinks, at least two standard drinks, no more than two standard drinks, 100 ml means, a standard ring. So more than two standard rings means two, three, four, or 20 pecs. If you just uh, put it as pecs, standard rings to understand. And uh, at least two standard rings means minimum two pecs you have to take. And no more than two standard rings means maximum two pecs. Okay. And 100 ml of oil, one standard ring, one peg. So here, 
more than two, three, four, or two, ten packs. Here, minimum two packs you, and ma here maximum two packs. One standard ring means one pack. So there is a strata here from many to uh, minimum to maximum and to one pack. So this is known as the scale, and this scale helps you to understand the uh, identify the or locate the answer here if you get back into this we'll just see the answer uh, yeah see here drinking two standard drinks a day is the answer okay we are not bother bothered about the answers now don't worry but we, i am telling you how to identify the answer so here what happens no more than two standard drinks a day drinks drinking two standard drinks a day or less that's put in a negative way no more than two Standard drinks a day. Definitely, we'll come to other clues like uh, uh, identifying the name. As soon as you have a name, you need not read the rest of the things. You can just, when there is a name in the question, we'll come to that as a strategy. Immediately, you soak into that particular portion of the text and start reading, and definitely there you have the answer. Okay. So, this is how scale is being used. Uh, this is one of the materials or uh, files. So, as you put this one, scale more than two, no more than two, at least two, two or less, and a standard drink. So, unless we are able to understand this particular scale expressions, it's hard or you will consume a lot of time to go into the answer or locate the answer. So, get this idea in our mind. And now there are many questions. I am just focusing on the questions that were being posted in YouTube Live. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the YouTube comment space, as well as uh, the Telegram group during Mentors Hour. And uh, people are asking how to identify opinion questions. We call it opinion or fact, fact language. So how to identify? I'm going to give you seven sutras, how to identify the opinion questions. So how to identify opinion questions? First, read the question for keywords. I'll tell you how to identify the hedging words or the keywords, main words in the question. First, you have to read the question for keywords read the topic sentence in the text for gist or opinion you will understand the opinion by reading the topic sentence i'll tell you how it is i will apply it just i am giving the headings identify opinions by marker words and i'll explain which are the marker words identify opinions by hedging words read for emotions or subjective agreement agree and disagree expressions look for opinions in the main clause when there is a uh, complex sentence when you have a dependent clause and main clause, I'll show you with examples. Uh, the, your answer will be in the main clause, never in the dependent clause. You can just ignore the dependent clause and look into the main clause for the answer or the opinions. Look for model verbs. So these are the uh, seven principles, Sapta Sutras, to identify opinion questions. This elaborate understanding is not required, but as beginners, you should have an idea that everything is strategically organized and arranged. So just to identify the opinions, we'll give you multiple options, but you don't require detailed study, but we'll just look into it. Read the uh, question for keywords. So I'll show you how keywords, but now we are going into marker words. So identify opinions by marker words like my opinion, think, say, suggest, advise. These are, for example, in the uh, academic language, you may not use the personal thing like my opinion. Uh, maybe uh, you'll not say I think. It is thought that. So such are the expressions being used. But think, thought, such expressions, say, suggest, advice. These are the marker words that tells you, you they are asking for an opinion of the writer or someone's opinion in the text. And also the word like believe. So opinion, think, say, suggest, advice, believe. Let's look into one example. This from the same text what you have taken. I'm taking the same text so that you can easily understand how the strategy is to be applied. Now, this is an opinion question. What is the opinion of National Health and Medical Research Council? Uh, Council, uh, National Health and Medical Research Council. What is their opinion? What is their suggestion? What is their guidelines? All these are the words being used. And you can understand these are the words, opinion words, says, advises, suggests, suggests, should, guidelines. Should is the model verb that uh, speaks about suggestion. We'll come to that. And you know, there you have the answer as you have the name here, National Health and Medical Research Council. Here you see the National Health and Medical Research Council guideline. Guidelines. So no more than two uh, standard drinks a day. Drinking two standard drinks a day or less. No more than means two or less. So exactly this is being paraphrased in the answer option. 
So what happens? The thing is, as you have the name here and the word suggest here, suggest here, you have the name immediately after that you have the answer. So immediately you can launch into, go into the answers. So this is how uh, the word uh, opinion words are being repeatedly used in your text as well as in the question you have the word suggest here. Suggestion is opinion. And so here, for example, as I said in the marker word, believed and will. Will means factual statement. Believed means opinion. So most children born will develop appetites B. Will means factual statement it is. It's not an opinion. So here is factual. So they will confuse you between factual statements, even in answer options, they will confuse you between factual statements and uh, opinion statements. So fourth one, identify opinions by hedging words. What are the hedging words? The words like probably, perhaps, maybe, likely. These are the words they will use to give you opinion. So as soon as you find such words, you know these questions are opinion questions. They are asking for the opinion. When they are asking for opinion, opinion by whom? Whose opinion? So you have to identify those things as you read the question. Then fifth one is read for emotions or subjective agreement. For example, compelling, which means interesting, remarkable. These words will tell uh, that this are uh, the emotions or agreement or disagreement of a particular person. And the questions will be based on those things. And uh, unfortunately, sadly, that's the emotion being expressed. Agree and disagree, insist. These are the words will uh, used to give opinions. For example, let's look into this text here. What does Dr. Saul object to? Then the options will be there. Now we are not bothered about the answers. We are just giving you an idea, general idea that every uh, reading text as well as audio is strategically arranged and the answers can be easily identified without even going into the whole text. So here, what does Dr. Saul object to? Earlier it was a council, name of a council. Here you have the name of a person, Dr. Saul. So here you have Dr. Richard Saul disagrees. Barclay insists. So as soon as you know what does Dr. Saul object to, he knows this is the answer here. Saul and disagrees is the opinion word expression being used here. So immediately you have to launch here and what follows is the answer, right answer option. So sixth one, look for opinions in the main clause. See, this is a complex sentence. Despite the complex challenges that the OET aspirants face in the low, there is a mistake, uh, spelling mistake, sorry for that. Uh, despite the countless challenges that the OET aspirants face in the low resource and environment created by various service providers, OET remains the best hope for many health professionals in building up their future. So, you know, dependent clause means first one is the dependent clause. Dependent clause means in itself, that portion of the sentence doesn't make full sentence or full meaning that doesn't give a real meaning, despite the countless challenges that the OET aspirants face in the low resource environment created by various service providers is not complete statement. Whereas the next one is the dependent clause, independent clause, which is complete in itself. OET remains the best hope for many health professionals in building up their future. Without the first portion, or whatever comes before the comma, this portion itself is complete sentence gives perfect meaning. So always the answer will be in the main clause. This independent clause is known as main clause. Never search here, never get confused with the things given here. So focus on the main clause. I'll give you one more example from our own text reading material. For example, one answer option C says, that is the right answer. Whichever the question is, we are not going into all the details. That will take longer time as step-by-step step, we'll be training you on that. And the grouping of imprecise symptoms into a mental disorder is the answer. How it comes in the main clause or the independent clause although some patients might need stimulants to function well in daily life this dependent clause says as if patients need stimulants to function well in daily life but although the expression says that is the dependent clause and what comes next is the main clause or independent clause and your answer will be always in the independent clause so the lumping together of many way again subjective symptoms would be causing a national phenomenon of misdiagnosis and over prescription of stimulants. So you see, the answer is here, the grouping of imprecise symptoms, the lumping together of many vague, vague means imprecise, lumping together means the grouping. So this is the paraphrasing. So you have 
look for opinions in the main clause, not in the dependent clause. When there is a complex sentence, you will find it very difficult to digest or understand such sentences, long sentences. So just ignore the independent clause and look and focus for your answer in the main clause or independent clause. Looking for model verbs, that also helps you to identify the opinion questions, your model verbs in the question statement, answer options, or in the text. Okay. So look for model verbs like can, could, should, must. These are the model verbs. For example, here, para, you see, trees are lovely. They make oxygen, which is necessary for life. We should all plant one. You see, a model verb. We should all plant one means we not, we must all plant one. We should means it is suggestion. It's advisory. It's not mandatory. It's not compulsory. We, it's not we should follow traffic rules. We must follow traffic rules. So should is a suggestion. Advisory, there is no penalty for not obeying that particular uh, instruction. Whereas when must is used, it's uh, mandatory and obligatory. So moral verbs. Sorry. And uh, statement, we should all plant one. This is the suggestion. Function is suggestion. Should. Must, model verbs, advice. Should means advice, recommendation, suggestion. There is no penalty for uh, disobeying this particular suggestion or advice or recommendation. Uh, for example, the doctor may say you advise or recommend that you should at least drink three liters of water every day. If you don't drink three liters of water every day, nobody is going to penalize you. Whereas if somebody says you must follow the traffic rules, you must follow. It's mandatory, necessary, obligatory. And if you don't follow traffic rules, you will be penalized. So that's the difference between the model verb should and must, which you should identify in the uh, question statement as well as in the uh, in the text or even in the audio in listening. So you see the present tense is can, model verb, could is the past tense. That speaks about ability, possibility, permission, may, might, possibility, should, advice, recommendation, suggestion, must, necessity, and obligation. See, why can the human connectome help patients with the schizophrenia? So you see, here this is an opinion because you can see believe, might, can, all this could, might, all these opinion words are being used here. And can is the model verb here. Why can the human connect home? See, a psychiatrist can tailor treatment to suit their needs. We are not bothered about analyzing all the answers. The D option is the right answer. And you have the model verb here, followed by you have in the question statement as well as uh, here in the text. So they are asking for a reason why. So can Tyler treatment to suit their needs? You see, because individual courses of treatments can be designed for every patient, designed Tyler treatment and suit their needs, individual courses of treatment. These are the synonymous expressions and the paraphrasing being used. Don't worry about the whole text or the answer options or the answer op uh, correct answer. This is just to give you an idea. Uh, if you really work, with the text in the initial stage with patients and com uh, gain competency in the strategies, you can easily defeat your greatest enemy, the time. And contrast word. See the same text I take, uh, bring here. See the contrast word is however. And so many things are explained in the first portion. Then it says however, which means the whole scenario changes and the answer will happen after this contrast word, not before that. So if you have a contrast word, make sure that you focus what comes next. So here the answer is drinking two standard drinks a day or less. No more than two standard drinks a day is the option that happens after the uh, contrast word. Again, I said the National Health and Medical Research Council guidelines suggest here you have the name of that council. So you have to look into the name. Soon after the name, you have the So you have multiple strategies in this particular text. I am highlighting one each so that you are very uh, clear and thorough with the strategies. So contrast word is however. And name, whenever you have a name, as I told you, the National Health and Medical Co Research Council, just look for that name in the text. Immediately, just go to that particular portion of the text where you have the name, maybe of the person, or of a device or a system or a council or an NGO or an organization, whatever the name happens in the question statement. There is a main hedging words in the question statement just look into that particular name in the text and you know number whenever there are numbers you have to focus on the number as i said here you have 200 285 2 and if you have to eliminate or make sure that your answer is correct 
you can just look into these numbers you know here you have only these numbers being repeated for example two you have then you have 100 and 285 here so you have to compare between these things no more than two standard drinks a day is given here so always whenever it is normally whenever it is single digit that will be spelled out like t w o they don't write in digits single digits whereas double digits from 10 onwards they write in digits that's how we have to follow in our writing and topic sentence you know here the heart health benefits of alcohol that is the topic sentence here it is put in a question format uh, but then uh, if you remove the question format you know the topic sentence is the heart health benefits of alcohol so what is the benefit so the whole paragraphs will speak about the benefits of alcohol and here you see mother to child transmission mother to child transmission occurs frequently either in the uterus through placement uh, placental leakage or through exposure to blood or blood contaminated fluids at or around the time of birth so here what happens what you have to understand is this you have to focus on this particular aspect now mother to child transmission is the focus of the text and that will be explained in the whole paragraph and again i just want to show highlight and show you another thing here you have let me check yes here you have certain things in the paragraph as i said sometimes you have subject complements which you can just neglect maybe no, not to, not for other purposes you have to definitely be uh, edu skills respects the uh, copyright issues so we definitely use these things but while reading to make it easy you can ignore whatever comes in between these paragraphs we, sometimes you see even nearly two lines one paragraph uh, extending and these things will not be necessary for your answer all these things can be just ignored and focus on other things so that you can save time and it appears beautifully without without these things it will appear very small paragraphs and all those uh, whatever comes between commas like subject complements whenever there are subject complements whatever appears be between the two commas that can be neglected because usually you don't have the answers from there so that is it then you have to focus on the paragraph structure which i am not going to deal as on now let me look at your suggestions and if you have some queries here you can just text me yes i am just looking into your suggestions or your queries and comment space you can just make and definitely comment yes question type uh, there are some questions on question type and definitely you know how to identify the question type gist based contrast based yes writing self uh, okay mm -hmm. yes and coming to the new batches i would like to tell you have patience and go step by step don't book the date immediately and try to gain competency competency requires at least if you are an average student or an aspirant with average competency in english definitely you require six months and others will require more as well depending on how how long you commit yourself into practice so what happens is this uh, you have to go step by step and now the new batches we have a procedure like you all will be admitted to entry level batch and everybody who is listening to me if you want to get into the edu skills upcoming batches see that you read the notices pinned messages pinned notices uh, today whatever is given try to read try to copy it in cape somewhere and read it and follow those guidelines and never ever ask those things again in the platform and if somebody else asks try to answer them if you know the answer any questions and you know this is a platform that is by the health professionals for the health professionals and of the health professionals this is run by admin panel and volunteer groups or most of them are nurses and definitely they are doing a lot of sacrifices to run this platform so we expect all of you to uh, support the platform this is a non-profit platform we don't charge for any of our services uh, we want to reach out to maximum people so if you are watching this on youtube kindly consider subscribing the channel give us a like if you uh, give us a thumbs up and press the like button if you like our work and share your comments in the comment space so that we'll customize up upcoming sessions as per your requirements your needs your mistakes are our syllabus 
So we customize all our sessions as per the request by the aspirants because that's going to be more useful. So definitely you must be patient and you have to follow the guidelines in the Telegram group. And we will promote you to different batches as per the self assessment done by EG skills. You have to, every day you'll be given task in the entry level uh, batch, EG skills in the coaching rain application or my institute application for iOS. What you have to do, you have to do the uh, submit the daily uh, task and task is not very big one. We are giving you a very small task like part A or part B or part C. And we'll teach you step by step how to analyze, how to find out these uh, strategies. For example, here, maybe if you take one particular question, let me check. You see, there are so many strategies in one, one text. This text, you see, the name is there, the opinion word is there, the scale is there. Then you have the contrast word. So, so many strategies uh, focusing into one particular answer or allowing you to, helping you to find the answer. So you have to follow the uh, instruction in the platform, submit daily tasks. So, and at the end of the week, you have self-assessment form to be submitted. Please do submit those self-assessment forms. And only those who are punctual will be promoted to customized groups as per your requirement and as per the assessment of EDU skills. So, and again, we will support you maximum depending on your empowering attitude. We have to help each other you have to spend some time or five minutes, five minutes or 10 minutes, which is, which is also a learning process. As I tell you, competence is equally important as confidence. Confidence as well as competence is important. Majority, I tell you, majority from my experience for decades, I can tell you majority of the students uh, have a low score in their exam, not because they are not competent, but they have the examination fear or stress and they are not able to answer well. So you need to build up competence as well, confidence along with the competence. So Edu Skills has customized its services. So you have all the students empowering each other, coming on YouTube Live, coming on participating in discussions, leading discussions. All these things will give you fluency, competence, as well as confidence. So try to get involved. Contact the admin panel through Telegram chat. You can contact them, any one of them, and ask if you want to be uh, in a support group, study group, support groups, all, all really study groups. There you have a lot of discussions happening every day about everyday tasks. So also share your learning experience. We assess you based on your <clears throat> learning feedback. We, we are not sure where you are and what is your competence. So we need to have your feedback. So both in your YouTube comment space as well as in the um, uh, Telegram group, please post your comments, post your feedbacks which we will assess and we will support you accordingly and we will promote you to uh, study groups accordingly and the support groups are the greatest platforms of learning and uh, reaching competency <clears throat> so have patience is my first word and fall in love with the process of learning it's so beautiful as you enjoy as you gain competence it's not possible by a day don't be uh, guided by illu illusion of competency when I tell you it looks easy, but you have to take a paragraph and analyze and send it for assessment or discuss in the, your smaller groups, study groups. Definitely, you will gain by sharing your knowledge each, with each other. Empower each other and grow together is a, uh, is a way of uh, a style of functioning. Smile is our signature and style of functioning is empower the other. So empower each other and grow together is the style. So all these attitudes will be assessed and definitely we can give you the maximum. And you can find uh, most of the uh, previous live Zoom sessions links shared in the description below here. Any doubts you have regarding these things, what I have explained on each strategy, there are different videos of uh, previous Zoom live sessions. They are not YouTube videos. They are just live sessions being uploaded. So you have to look into the PPT on the screen. Then you follow the uh, teaching, then definitely you will gain competence. Maybe you find it in the beginning stage, you might find it difficult, but gray later on, you will find it very easy. Maybe you'll have to repeatedly watch, write down the strategies and try to practice. Even if you practice maybe one paragraph per day, one text per day, that's more than enough. Or take why a part A reading or part B, one text each every day, maybe one part B in six days. Doesn't matter. If you are not competent enough, we will be giving giving you part B or part A in one day. If you are not competent enough, we don't want you to 
do everything, at least analyze one paragraph and identify or see what mistakes you have done. And we have given you the clear guidelines you will find in the uh, Telegram platform, as well as in the Facebook and YouTube videos, how you have to practice step by step. Day one, day two, day three, day four, all these guidelines will be provided. So also try to share this video to others so that we reach out to many. And our mission or focus is to assist the financially struggling OET aspirants, the health professionals. So help us to reach out to those people. And definitely that's our main focus. By the meantime, definitely all of you can benefit from the platform. There is no issue about it. And any other uh, doubts or clarifications, you can text me. Keep texting me. <clears throat> Yes, also give me some details. Where are you from? Which country? Which state? Just text in the comment space and it's a subscriber only mode is enabled. So if you have not subscribed, you will not be able to uh, able to post a comment here. So please click, click the subscribe button so that you can comment. And, and definitely I'll be going through again after this session and taking up your subs uh, your comments we will also use that as an assessment criteria. So see that every one of you subscribe to the channel and post your comments here. This will be collected by the volunteers and the admin panel, and we will be going accordingly. Have patience, definitely we will meet all your needs and try to help each other. That's the best way. And in the upcoming sessions, you know, those who are really helping each other and supporting each other and serious about the learning, you will be coming on live with me in the Zoom session and we will be guiding you step by step. Yes, and uh, <clears throat> I'm giving you live sessions so that because I'm not able to answer all these texts sometimes because you not know, thousands of them text me every day. I try to uh, answer maximum, but then definitely if you post the things in the comment space of uh, YouTube videos, I go through all those things and I'll be uh, customizing my sessions. So let me know your comments here if you have any clarifications regarding the upcoming training or the batches. So everybody will get into entry level batch and you know almost it is uh, more than 9,000. We have only capacity till 10,000 for the batch. We'll be able to accept maybe 600 or 700 more. After that, we will not be able to accept. So uh, download the app and join the uh, entry level batch. And depending on the submission of your task and assessment forms and your feedback, learning feedbacks, and your participation in the daily activities in the main Telegram group. If you are really serious about cracking OET with love and with ease and enjoying the process, try to spend some time in, even in the Telegram group. Make sure you attend the daily discussions at 8.30 and that will give you a clear picture about the daily tasks. Any other suggestion coming in? Father, please take writing sessions. Definitely, we'll be taking writing sessions. We have already taken seven uh, steps, one to seven steps. And we have three more steps, which we'll be taking up the upcoming week is the writing week. We'll be taking empower each other. Yes. Uh, I am from India, but right now in work, okay, okay. Yes, Abhidhabi. Yes, please. We want writing class. Definitely, we'll be taking writing classes. But make sure that you watch those videos. Into four videos, I have given seven steps of writing. For example, how to identify the task, how to identify the issues based on keywords, and how to eliminate uh, uh, irrelevant materials or irrelevant case notes, and how to structure the paragraph, and how to organize the essay. All these things are given. Now we have we are left with only three more steps. What I want you to go into those four videos in EduSkills YouTube channel and give your learning experience in the uh, comment space. The volunteers will come, uh, admin panel as well as the volunteers will collect the comments and your names. As per the requirement, we will invite you to the sessions and admissions will be based on those feedbacks. Because you know, we will not be able to admit you, thousands of you. So we have a restriction on our Zoom. So we will be able to accommodate only as per the capacity of the classroom, Zoom classroom. So make sure that you connect with us. Thank you very much. Spending, okay. Yes. Now, uh, any other class about reading part C? Any classes in 
Yes, definitely. Definitely, you have a lot of classes about reading part C. You can see, I think, around seven to eight sessions being uploaded uh, about different types of paragraphs being analyzed and explained with all the strategies in EduSkills YouTube channel. Make sure that you, we have EduSkills, you know, this is the only platform, 100% non-profit platform, uh, free training, and this is the ever biggest platform in the history about OET aspirants for the health professionals. So try to make use of it. We have explanations to assist the juniors. We have like beginners. Uh, we have uh, explanations in seven different languages. So you can also join those languages. For example, we have in English, we have Malayalam, Kannada, Konkani, Tamil, Telugu, and Hindi. So there are different study groups for these batches. You can request in the main platform. You, If you want to join some of the batches, definitely you'll be added to those smaller groups where you can enjoy uh, uh, discussing and learning things. OK. Any other concerns? If you have any doubts, please post so that I'll give answer you on the spot. Otherwise, you'll be struggling later in the platform or in uh, text me personally. It may take time. Immediately, I can answer you now. Father, please add me in batch. Definitely. Um, and definitely, you can. Uh, you have the batch code given in the uh, Telegram group in the notice, it is posted repeatedly. You can join the batch by downloading the app. Even downloading link is given in the uh, main platform, Telegram group. If you are not a Telegram group member, you can go to the any of the videos. And in the description of the video, you have the Facebook link, Telegram link, my personal numbers. All those details are available. I am from India and currently it's uh, batch. I couldn't. OK, yes, let me stop sharing this one. Yes, yeah, I'm going through your concerns. Definitely, I'll give you five more minutes. Uh, you can ask me concerns and admins can send me if there are special concerns, yes. And tomorrow we have again, let me stop sharing, yes. Yes, okay. Uh, tomorrow again, we have in Malayalam 8.30. I'll be explaining you these things as well as some original things, uh, certain other aspects as well, depending on the request that you have. Post the request in the Telegram group and we'll customize accordingly. May not be the same thing. We'll have different aspects added as per the requirement of uh, Malayalis, those who understand Malayalam. <clears throat> and share the link to others so that everybody joins. Uh, yes. And any other? Uh, Father, please add me to batch. Definitely all of you can join the batches. We need not add. Entry-level batch is open, and the uh, batch code is given in the Telegram group. Everyone can uh, join. Telegram group link also is in the description of this video, as well as all the videos of YouTube Edge Skills. You can just click that link and join. And the app, but you cannot, cannot see anything in the app. Maybe if you are in the, um, in the study material, general material, you have almost all the videos given. And in the entry level batch, uh, Sunday evening onwards, means the batch begins, commences from Monday. So, Sunday evening onwards, now we will have in the study material being uploaded these days, whereas the task will be given every day, Sunday on Monday onwards, Sunday evening onwards. Usually, we have 8 30 daily discussion about the task given for the day, and you have to participate in that particular discussion. Then, after the discussion, immediately next day's task will be posted in the application as well as in the main Telegram group. And application as per the batch, it will be posted. So stay tuned. Challenging, but try my best. Yes, yeah, definitely it's challenging sometimes in the beginning stage. Have patience. Uh, go cool. Don't be, don't be concerned, worried about the speed or the score or the time in the beginning. Definitely, you can do first uh, in the initial stage. You can do everything in examination conditions. Maybe when you are doing part A, out of twenty, you get only eight, or you complete only twelve. It's fine. But then you know what is your competency, then take time, maybe hours together to analyze and understand the language. That's how you gain competence in the language. It's not the score or the time that is important, but gaining competency in language. We don't suggest hard work. We always suggest uh, smart work. Yes. And any other, if I have left, uh, if I have skipped any comments, any concerns, please post it again so that I will, I'm reading your comments. Uh, thank you so much. Yes. Okay. And yes. 
again you please attend these sessions even tomorrow whoever understands malayalam because you will be asking you will be confused later on to proceed because you will be giving different guidelines lot of guidelines how to go about during these live sessions yes yeah plenty of people are participating that's great and if i have left any concerns to address you can repost it again and the next 5 minutes i will be answering you thank you for being with us definitely let's empower each other and grow together your support and your uh, your collaboration with us is our strength and we our mission is to see that nobody no health professional is deprived of uh, moving to their dream country or oet because they have financial struggles especially after corona we have focused on those things and yes yeah anita lobo says i had a target to score a grade definitely we don't teach you for b grade Our target is always minimum 450 grade A. So why not? That's it. Yeah. How can I join small groups? Small groups you can text if it's language based state level groups. You can text in the main platform or to any of the admins. You can text in Telegram chat. You can find the names of the admins. <clears throat> I suggest admins will post the names today and tomorrow. Uh, admins names. You can just uh, chat them or type your text. them or speak uh, con communicate to them through telegram chat they will contact you all right i will uh, uh, reading still i am not yes definitely you can reach the score definitely will guide you don't worry <coughs> daily tasks where we need to submit daily tasks daily tasks are to be submitted in the application and definitely you are welcome to post it in the main platform as well as so that others are Uh, others uh, are also helped, and you can clarify the doubts uh, each other. Yes, you can. Uh, you, there is a provision where you can uh, submit the task, and there are videos in the YouTube channel how to use the application, Edu Skills application. There are videos, and if you don't find, if I search for it, definitely you can find it. If you, if you don't find, you can just text in the main platform; they will assist you. Thank you, Father. This session, I am so happy, Father. Now, I... yes, that's great. Yeah. Jitu uh, Sebastian, great. Yes, I'm a researcher. Yes, so we know. Thank you. Yes, beginner. How to? Uh, I am poor in English. How to improve my English? Okay, don't worry. There is nobody poor in English. It's not our mother tongue. Uh, I too studied in a vernacular language till my tenth year. Tell you, Canada. Being in Karnataka, I studied in Canada medium schools. There is no problem. There is nothing like poor language or anything of that sort. If you have a will, definitely we will assist you. even if you have need very basic training let me know we will create a separate batch for you group for you where we'll give you uh, initial uh, settings but only thing what i want to tell you only when you are competent we'll suggest you to take the exam date don't run rush because I always i repeatedly say uk australia ireland america none of these state, uh, countries will disappear within 3 months or 4 months let's take one or two months extra and oet learn english not for oet but for life and you are going to a uh, native english speaking country and definitely you need competence in language not to pass oet but to live and come practice your profession in a english speaking country so learn english for life that is our dictum and not for oet definitely you have to uh, score a grade in oet and a great life in in a native speaking country yes thank you so much for please assignments in coaching rain app i or in entry so much could you please tell me how to how i can get daily assignments in coaching rain app it will be uh, uploaded daily task will be uploaded in the evening after the task discussion at 8:30 almost around between 9:30 to 10 uh, the task will be uploaded and you will get a notification as well personal notification that task is being uploaded and you are supposed to submit the task before next day's discussion yes and all are welcome to join the discussion evening discussion those who are really willing to join the evening discussion you can uh, text to uh, admins or if you are free you can text in the main platform we will contact you and don't share your personal information in the main platform uh, for security reasons don't uh, give your phone numbers and other personal information or you want speaking partner in the main platform but, uh, we will put you into different groups also see that you fill the google forms which is given in the notice today those who have filled once need not fill again okay only those who have not filled if you have filled it for any batches or for any purpose you need not repeat the google form again google form is to get your basic idea so that you know how competent you are what you require 
Yes. Learn English for life. Oh, okay, great, Susan. Yes. And thank I'm so glad so many of you are joining from different places. And join me, join with edu, edu skills. It's not me, it's not mine, it's of health professionals. I tell you, I'm just assisting them. And definitely you'll be able to assist all the health professionals all, the, all over the world. That's why we have given all the videos, everything free. And uh, when you watch the videos, make sure that you don't skip the videos. Only when you have time, you watch the videos, start watching the videos. That helps the reach so that we reach out to many who are really deserving because hundreds of them cry that I come to know this, uh, this uh, about this platform very late. And my I, I booked my exam and so sad. Instead of that, let's reach it out to them and try to share to maximum of your contacts. And I'm also, if you want to uh, register with me in Edu Skills, you have to text me your full name. When you text me in the WhatsApp, text me your full name and say which program. Sometimes you ask me to link, give me the link. I have different programs like IELTS, OET, and other degree programs, post-graduation programs. So I don't know which program. So mention it correctly, exactly which program, okay? Then uh, text your full name because one name, if you say my name is Shija, there will be hundreds of Shijas in our platform. So uh, full name, first name and surname so that we identify you. And if once you register personally, send your full name to me and register your name, you may you will also get personal informations if you have doubts and all the details will come to your personal chat as well okay and also see that you add people to the platform so that they all benefit at least make sure that everyone here add one person every day minimum one person every day from your contacts or reach out the uh, um, telegram link to them or the video send the videos to them so that we help others, definitely God will bless us. It's also important that we uh, gain God's blessings are essential in the process. So pray to God, uh, thank God for this wonderful platform and all those people who are working behind the screen. You know, it's not that easy to run such a big, huge platform. So that means pray for them, their family and all the volunteers. Definitely let God bless them as well as you. And some more concerns. So we do. So I am. Yeah, and also we have uh, we have planned different groups due to uh, time zones. Those from uh, Kuwait and other Gulf countries, you can mention and text me uh, which country you belong to, and we'll have different groups and different sessions as per the time zone because there are, most of the time Gulf people have a difficulty with the time zone. So more, usually our Zoom session time slots are time, morning ten thirty, or evening five o'clock, and night eight thirty, evening eight thirty. All these IST we follow. IST timings, please uh, compare and adjust your timings. <clears throat> yes, uh, yeah, Matthews and Matthews, yes. And great, I want everybody to uh, use the comment space. And also we have a Malayalam channel and see that you also subscribe Malayalam channel. This is, uh, we don't recommend learning uh, English, this OET in, uh, through other language. Definitely I don't recommend. It's not the correct way, but only to understand. I never used to do that, but I understood the basics need to be understood. Just to I get the idea, basic idea and the strategies, I explained them in Malayalam or Kannada or other languages. Uh, in seven languages, we explain, but only to understand. But however, you have to concentrate on uh, watching English TV videos, English sessions, and uh, communicating in English. Cult create a culture of uh, English. <clears throat> You can select a learning partner. We call it learning partner, no speaking partner. Or definitely, if you are following the guidelines, we will also assign you with the spare learning partners. Every day, you can create a culture, speak to them, discuss with them about the task and other things. Yes, that is great. Okay, definitely, we will meet you again tomorrow. And do you have any other concerns? Uh, boring attitude, great. Any other, if I have not noticed any of the comments, please repost it so that I will answer you. And I'm answering you, I'm giving you more and more time so that uh, you, you are not confused about the go. You'll be guided step by step, but attend the live sessions and try to attend the Zoom sessions, try to be in the platform, at least read all the notices and make sure that you will respond to my notices. Because when I'm spending time and putting a notice anywhere in the main platform or personally, don't just say or thumbs up or note at father. Just tell me what action you are going to take as per uh, regarding that particular notice. 
because the, each notice is focused on you and your future you are cracking away being so give me a feedback a reply personally or otherwise in the main platform or anywhere that how do you respond to that particular notice and how are you going to take action on that yes then uh, did i leave uh, admins also can just uh, support group members you can put me in the chat if i left have forgotten anything Ariane, fall in love with OET. Definitely, that's our tagline. Fall in love with OET. We love OET. We love English. That's why we learn English. Uh, further, someone may say that they can give us give us same Emacs question. No, no, don't believe in those things. Uh, giving questions and leaked question papers never ever go behind those things. They are very illegal, and we never recommend. And it's your it's never a good option. You will be cheated. 99.99% you will be cheated. Uh, and not only that, if at all something happens in that way, it's a lifelong threat for you. And you will be deported even if you are in, uh, uh, if you go to other countries and later on they can find out if the, uh, these, what you call spammers are tr uh, tracked by police. Definitely uh you will be traced and all your transactions will be traced and you will be definitely losing your job and career and you will now be able to work in a foreign country you'll be deported so never ever believe somebody was posting that doubt further no my reading scores are improving but i have a big uh, listening yeah definitely listening will give you practice i'll i no, it depends on your support to me i tell you admins are struggling a lot and support groups are struggling we need more volunteers volunteers means we are learning we are just teaching you you are learning but you will be involving in supporting us and helping others but at the same time you will be definitely will be making you competent so we need more volunteers come up come on with your good wishes definitely we will give you step by step how to improve listening and i have given you seven steps of the uh, steps seven steps of listening follow those fellow seven steps definitely you will improve if that requires um, uh, requires actual patience patience is the key word here how to manage time further definitely time can be managed that's not an issue Somya. definitely time is going to be very easy for you once you are competent there are so many examples and you can see the videos where they said they some of them have completed their a part in seven minutes eight minutes ten minutes twelve minutes and they have been uh, correcting everything even after that they had left three or two or three minutes to enjoy and look around how the People are struggling. I face difficulty in so definitely time management happens automatically as you are competent. Can you help me to know how I am watching for this session? Yes, sure. I can't join in beginners batch. It shows students already in this. No, no, students, you can definitely join. You can send a send request to me. And if they show suspicious activity, you are blocked or something like that. Wait, so give you, give us a send us a screenshot either in the main platform. Or personally to the admins or to me and wait for some time we will definitely solve that issue it's not a big issue that's a security uh, provision for your safety so even if a suspicious activity is detected in a wrong way definitely we will correct it and definitely we have slots even for another six to six hundred and plus in the entry level batch so you can definitely join if you have any issues you can post in the main platform or in the youtube comment space or anywhere you can post your comments and definitely youtube comment space as you know most of you know who comment i usually go through all those comments <clears throat> it's easy for me to track thanks father and all admin panel yes and remember again tomorrow 8 30 we'll be joining with a malayalam session uh, share the uh, share the news to others so that we reach out to maximum people and i'm going through yes uh, yeah and please help the platform we need your support and help so that we help everybody we don't want we don't ask you anything we don't charge anything if somebody claims to be from edu skills and they ask you for money uh, be sure that we that's not from edu skills we have not empowered anyone to uh, collect any money from anyone it's absolutely non profit platform or free training and and make sure that you add people every day or maximum people to, to the platform and spend uh, spend time we don't gain anything but then you know we reach out to maximum people especially those who are financially struggling okay no, i'm not able to join in the group for beginners group and no activity is showing in see in the application i am repeatedly telling you i already answered the activities will begin from sunday evening like 
Monday after Sunday six o'clock Monday task. So Monday is the fifth is the uh, batch beginning. So now you have to admit all the people, right? So this is these are the days where we are going to admit you. And the, today and tomorrow is the beginners focused live we are conducting. Even tomorrow, if you have any doubts, you can post it and we'll answer you tomorrow. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Father. Yes. Father, in listening C part, couldn't read. Yeah, reading, uh, listening C part, reading in 90 minutes definitely will train you. You don't require even 90 minutes. Within 60 minutes, uh, no, seconds, uh, you can definitely read within a minute. Uh, we'll tell you how to read fast with just uh, um, scanning the hedging words or the keywords. Father, I am not able to join in the group for beginners. Uh, okay. Yes. Yes, Sujit, thank you, Veena. Yes, Veena Ratish. Yeah. We will work out, Veena Ratish, that listening part, C part definitely will work out. But to see that you go through, the, uh, go according to the seven steps we are teaching you, definitely you can defeat the time. And competency ultimately defeats time. There's nothing that you need to worry about time management. It happens. It's a byproduct of competence. Yes, I'm weak in English. Yes, definitely. We'll help you, whoever is weak in English. No issues. Yes. Any other concerns? Yeah. I'm giving you more time because otherwise you'll be posting concerns in the main platform, repeatedly the same concerns. Uh, yes. Please check the video regarding Coaching Rain app and batch, please. Yeah. Uh, Admin Rajani is posting the comment that please check the video about the Coaching Rene app. Uh, and also we have know the platform videos, uh, two or three videos about know the platform. And there they explain everything. Admins have explained every bit of it. Step by step, what all things you need, need to know about the platform, Edu skills platform and the learning process. Yes, waiting for tomorrow Malayalam session. Yes, Lina, definitely. Yeah. And I thought to my reading, I am getting total 20. It's cool. It's cool. In the beginning, don't worry about your score at all. Once you are competent, definitely you can get score. There is no issue in reaching 34, 35. It's very cool. But in the beginning, don't worry and stress yourself about the score. Don't focus on score or the time aspect. Time, when the initial stages, you need to be very patient and go very slow. Enjoy the process of learning and go slow. Yeah, yes. So, we are reading part A, time management, definitely. As I told you, you will complete it within 10 minutes as you gain the competency. Watch those videos. For every question, you have answers in the videos. Watch the videos about reading part A. And I have given you how easily you can beat your greatest enemy. That is time. Yes. Reading part A, time management, definitely will be. Maybe in the, uh, next week, we have reading part A. We will assist you how to. And ultimately, it all depends how you connect with us. It's not that we are catering to one or two students. And there are thousands of you. So it all depends on you. Uh, try to get into the support groups, small study groups, where definitely you get all the guidance from all the admin panel members if you require special attention and all those things. And in the meantime, you'll also support others in the platform. And try to interact whenever you're free. When you come to the platform, make sure that you post something and uh, show your presence in the platform. And if you know something, if somebody is asking for some concerns or clarifications, try to answer them. Whoever it is from anywhere in the world, we, we are just empowering each other. We are supporting health professionals. So help us to help you. Yes, tomorrow live at 8.30, yes. Yes. Father, they have so many concerns about batch, exam batch, and beginner's batch, how the aspirants can get to Okay, I answered it again. I'm telling you, uh, Mary Joseph, the coaching Rene, uh, concerns about coaching Rene. One thing you can uh, uh, find video in the EduSkills app, how to uh, work with uh, coaching Rene. There are videos in Malayalam as well as in English, and uh, English as well as Malayalam. So you can end uh, asking about other batches, so beginner's batch, exam batch, and all those things. That's what I said, as per your interactions in the first two weeks, it means reading part A and B. We will assess your competence, then we will put you into batch. There is nothing called examination batch where you have exam next week, and we cannot inject you the skills. Skills require time, you know? Uh, the illusion of competency is that if you do more and more practice, you will be competent. No, you need quality practice, not quantity. 
so base uh, depend uh, base yourself on quality and if you have booked your exam and you are not at all competent don't write your exam you have an option to defer the exam where you lose 6 or 6 to 8000 bucks uh, rupees where you don't lose 35 or 500 dollars so you have an option to defer the exam and even regarding that there is a video in our edge skills channel how to defer the exam okay clear explanation is given you can watch that video if you don't find any video you can post in the main telegram group that i could not find particular video then they will send you the link and usually admins only uh, the real admins in the platform are allowed to uh, post the links don't post any links in the main platform you will be banned even if you are banned give us a message we will unban you by mistake if the robot bans you yes yeah in our platform we have yeah and Talova is saying we also have spiritual uh, support stations we have in our platform and so also we have psychological support stations we call it groups where people require psychological support and spiritual support which is definitely a great mission that we have yes that's great any other things that admins want to remind me you can post in the comments i can look into it yes yes so everybody great going god bless you all i'm so happy you all joined us and we'll meet tomorrow and help each other support each other to join tomorrow and post us all your concerns in the main platform in the youtube comments uh, in the comment space as well as you can directly post it to me or to that means and it is always good uh, uh, maybe tomorrow 12 to 1 mentor server is there maybe if they extend admins will, uh, will inform you they may extend the time of admin server so that you can post all your concerns in the main platform during mentor server so again thank you so much god bless you all praying for you we all love you we want to work uh, support each other and grow together okay let's fall in love with oet oet is great it's it's, uh, it's really nice it's really nice to learn and we will equip you with all the things required and post us your feedbacks in the comment space as well as in the main platform if you have any doubts all the description all the links even to the main platform to join the edu skills oit or IELTS or anything all the links are given in the description below in this particular video as well as all other videos you can find in the description all the links required you can definitely join and signing off Thank you, Father. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Nice being with you all. God bless you all. Definitely join us. Join hands with us. Connect with us. So join the support groups. Help the people. And we need more admins, more support groups, more volunteers uh, in all the languages. And definitely we'll be happy to explain in uh, even other regional languages. Let us know which state you belong to or which country you belong to so that we can assist you better. Thank you very much. God bless you. Signing off. Edu skills, OED Medici. Our mission is to make you fall in love with OED. Great day or good night, whatever the time zone you are. God bless you all. Thank you.